Okay, uh, oops, no, wrong one, square. Who should we hang out? Alright, who's at the cafeteria right now? Pifumi, we, we could give him a gift that he will most certainly love. Um, what other rooms are there? No, we can hang out. No one's at the first, other first floor. Or the second floor, what the hell? Is everyone hanging out on the third floor? Yeah, everyone's hanging out on the third floor. We could go to the, well, what are they doing in the physics lab? Hmm. What were these two? I don't think I can hang out with him whatsoever, so there's no cho no point in doing that. What the hell is he doing in the art room? Gazing? Artistically? Yeah. Alright, um... Since these two are together, I think we could just hang out with both. No, 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 we can only hang out with one person at a time, right? So it's either Asahina or Sakura that we could hang out with. We haven't hung out with Kia or Giri for a while now. And clearly we're- well... I kind of want to hang out with him, but due to his situation right now, I don't think I can. And... Yeah, fuck her. <laughs> we hanged out with Celeste. I don't remember- we No, no, we definitely were hanging out with, uh, him before. Uh, mm. I could try him, but I doubt that we are getting any, any progress. Although, I don't think we've ever hanged out with Hifumi just yet, so... I, let's try, uh... Let's try talking to him. Maybe something we- uh, where is he? Is he in the dining hall? Yeah, he's in the dining hall. Alright. Let's talk to Oifumi and hang out with him, see what's up. Maybe something fun will happen. Alrighty then. Ah, well, hello. Ah, Mr. Nayagi. Funny meeting you mm -hmm. here. I salute to you! you Salute! I just saluted! Did you see? That was a Hifumi ultimate salute. Zam! Uh, yeah, sure, why not? He's a fun, lovable player, right? Cosplayers these days are totally ignorant to the origins, the history, the significance of their hobby. And if you don't know their history, you can never have a complete cosplay experience! So, Mr. Nayagi, prepare for a glorious detailed history of the cosplay world. Now, in 1955... <laughs> I listen to Fumi's hap-obsessed ranting for a lo way too long. Ifumi and I grew a little closer today. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yes, definitely, yeah. I have a feeling I know what he'll definitely like. Where's that, uh... Where the fuck is that thing? I know he's a fan of that, so of course I'm gonna give him this demon angel princess figurine. What is this? Collectible? Yeah. From the, the pop? Yeah, give it to him. I never imagined you want to give me something so rare, Mr. Nayagi. Thanks to you. Super heart, good level heart result heart. Seeing you from me so pleased with something I gave him makes him me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I see quality in you, Mr. Nayagi. True quality. Mr. Nayagi. And that's why I've decided to present to you with my lecture on the nature of fan fiction. If we're going to be friends, you must be fully informed. I will permit no fanfic bigotry whatsoever. I don't think I have any fanfic bigotry. I mean, I don't really know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyways. See? There it is! To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But it is that all the world of word of worth? Huh? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> but that's okay! Because I take the word geek as a compliment! For you see, there is nobody on earth so full of knowledge as a geek. Yes, indeed. In a sense, a geek is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. A successful musician must necessarily be a music geek. A good movie director is a movie geek, you see? It's those experts, those geeks, who are open up to the world to others. So, when you say that writing fanfic is geeky, I'm sure you recognize us as true experts. Okay, so, um, what exactly is fanfic then? Here we go! Oof, super direct question! FTW! Fair the... Wh where? Mm-hmm. Whatever, okay. Basically, what we have all different kinds of stories and events, right? There are... Th these are where groups of holy warriors sell their own stuff based on games, comics, anime, everything. And the stuff those people make is... Oh, and the stuff those people make is fanfic? <laughs> Comics are the most common creation, but it also includes games, music, and even merchandise. Mm. 
By the way, there's a need for a group of fanfic creators come together. Specifically, if it's any organized group that comes together to release their work. A group that comes together to release their work. Circle, squares, or menagerie? Is it a menagerie? Well, I suppose on a technical linguistic level it's true. <laughs> but I'm talking about something a little more common. Listen, I'm sure you know this. Go ahead, tell me. Okay. So, this is the literal definition. Is it a circle? It is! Of course you know that. I mean, it's only common sense. I certainly hope you don't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time. Well, like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. This goes well beyond I don't know too much. But I guess I can't blame you. The propaganda never touches on that. So, as a fanfic ambassador, by the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy a premium pass to the next fanfic con. <laughs> right? Obviously, he's excited, but... <laughs> That's it for today. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for the two of us. I'm kind of scared to see what the future has in store for the two of us. Ifumi's report has been updated based on your experience with him. You just unlock the skill, handiwork. Give it yourself a pat on back, you've earned it. Alright, what the fuck is handiwork? I'm pretty sure that'll definitely help you during the trial, so... Yeah. Is that it for the day, or can I hang out a little bit more? It's still daytime, so we should... We could definitely do something. Ding dong, what? Huh? Sounds like someone's here. Okay! Who's beyond my door? Okay! T Taka! Uh, is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? Uh. He's still alive? N no, n not quite. Let me see. I want to talk to him. T Taka! The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kiko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so... I can't just leave him here like this. Well, just ask for her permission or something. Isn't that easy? Uh, okay. Why don't we get going? I don't trust this. We should... T yeah, 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 here she is, here she is. Tell me... Uh, oops, wrong door. Fuck. I should head to the dressing room as soon as possible. Well, let's just give her permission. Come on. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around around with you too much, given his current tradition. Look at Taka standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. But I was getting hungry. I thought we could head something from the Correct. Yes, because lying! Well then, I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. <sighs> Why are we not telling the truth, exactly? God damn it, I swear to god, you- Where the fuck is he? God damn it. <laughs> He's not even following me right now. You fuck us over, then. It's your fucking fault, dude. <sighs> okay, so... There's a laptop inside the locker. Understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter uh, Ego. Uh, How do I... Talk to him? Oh, um... Well, you just tell me what you say to what to say, and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? He was clearly was forcing himself to get those words out from his mouth, from the bottom of his heart. He forced his weakened voice to make those sounds. Please, Makoto. You are a fucking dumbass, you know that? <laughs> this is a very, very bad situation we have right here, right here guys. And then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey... 
Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. The one asking those questions is... Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come up with. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So, that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. And what happened, what appeared was... What the fuck? You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Yeah. Yo. A man's only worth is as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Th that's... So. I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taco was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. So, you're gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed. Take that time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thing might work for some people. What if I said what that... What if I said with that kind of condescending tone? Uh, oh. <laughs> huh, huh, huh. Taka? Uh, oh. It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into the bone dry sponge. Uh, huh? <sighs> Those words. Deep within my heart. There. Inside me! <laughs> you don't do anything in this table, sir! Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Oh god, is this another multiple personality disorder? Your eyes! Heh, <laughs> don't worry about it! Guess I can't- I caused that kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man! And your voice! Yeah. I'm a new me! I'm totally still a fighting spirit now! You dumb butt! <laughs> uh, okay, Taka, just calm down. I am calm and don't call me Taka! That's... that's not my name anymore. I'm me! I. Am. Me! Yes? No! That's you! And I'm me! Taka let out a bone-chilling howl and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on! I took off right after him, but someone stood in my way. As of tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into Just the dressing room. What do you think you're doing? Exactly! I, that's what I've been saying, Makoto! What the fuck are you doing? K K Kyoko! Oh, um, no, see, uh, this is just... Then. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me. For everyone. S sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here. Now. Uh, okay. Finally, I headed back into my room, embarrassed and sullen. Well, that was quite the adventure. But still, what's with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. Well, we can't really do much now, can we? Let's sleep, indulge in our senses. Maybe we could have another more free time, because we only have one free time, which is stupid. This is a school as such. It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the- Okay then. Alright. It's night time already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, time to sleep. Alright. You want to know why I hate video games? <laughs> okay. Do tell, Mr. Monokuma. You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend. But unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys show up to hang out. They just bought the latest big budget video games. They sat there, lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for out. What? This game does not have multiplayer? What kind of fucking game is this? But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I- Yes! Yes! I love you, Monokuma! You like watching people play video games! That 
is what I'm talking about, Mona Koopa. I applaud you, sir. You are fucking awesome. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually and played it. I don't it. plan on ever playing it in the future <laughs> either. So it's not that you don't like video games, it's just that you like to watch Let's Plays, <laughs> essentially. Other people's playthroughs of video games. I want to see how Monokuma... <laughs> I want to have like a Monokuma personality person or something like, you know, like someone who's going to like purposely try to get all the personality traits of Monokuma. Make a video of him reacting to my Let's Play to see what he thinks about. He'll probably think I'm like some sort of stupid asshole or something, or maybe he'll just like me or something. Who knows? Uh, oh, fuck, the phone's ringing, really? Yeah, bad time like this, all right. Well, be right back, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode of Danganronpa. Alright, what's going on here now, Monokuma? Good morning, everyone! Get... Alright, everything seems to be all normal today for now. Get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened to Taka yesterday. Yeah, and I want to know what the fuck happened to him now. Where is he, and is there a problem? Uh, at least we know for now, there's no murder, so that's good. Usually when a murder occurs, you know? um, Monokum would actually say it, right? Yo, I've been waiting! Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's hmm. everyone else? They went on ahead. Went on ahead? To where? Hey, come on. We, we can talk about it later. For now, let's just take a bath. Let's go take a bath. Bath? Um... Okay. Oh, sorry, one's here. Hey, Fumi, what's going on? Makoto, save me! I never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now! What happened? She's trying to kill me! If Fumi pointed at. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? I never said I was going. I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he was he made the same mistake twice. Same mistake. What do you so... do? He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. <laughs> what were you doing? <sighs> I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work, I suppose I had to clarify myself further. Yeah, please don't kill me! I'm not going to kill you. Yeah, cure you. Yeah. I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct you. How very sad. <laughs> okay. What do you have to say about this? Um, Kifumi. Did you tell me what happened? Well, well, I was just... I was just talking. However. Which is prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I mean, you see, talking to her is just so much fun, and I just... Uh, um... Whoa, well, okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... Ifumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love with something, are you? <laughs> Yeah, that I, the cold-blooded killing machine of the Underworld, would never fall in love. That. Well, wait, no, 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 wait. Is, is that is this love? According to the spirits, I happened to be a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once, and that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. And your eyes just now. I saw the same look in. Wait, why the fuck? Why am I looking at Hifumi? Ah, oh, whatever. No, nothing. Shut up! She's not a mannequin. She's an angel. I feel as if. And I don't bother telling me angels exist. What we have cannot be defined by your petty words. Oh. Yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> so how did that thing end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just want her to say. Master, one more time. But then I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I, I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl. <sighs> but she's definitely not a normal girl. <laughs> Even when all she did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. Oh, hello. Got pizza, don't I? Okay, yeah, go. Alright. 
<laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Ifumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I suppose... That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> That's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you have been misinformed by the situation, Are Fumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interested in who you were, it was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence, it exists to learn. Of course it would- Of course it wanted to hear of things it didn't know. You are an expert at many things your hero could not have taught it about for what that is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information, that is all. I know that. I, I know, I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's- Totally hopeless? Uh... You gotta be freaking... Mondo? Damn you! Oh! Hey, you jerks! I'm just sitting here listening to what I guys jibber-jabber on about whatever! Oh, Taka, you're back. Yeah. Who the hell's Taka? Mm -hmm. Um... You? <laughs> Listen up! I'm me! Got it? What the heck? Uh... You're... Who? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo. So like, Kyondo, I guess. And I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe! What the- What the heck kind of fusion is that?! Who- I think he became- Did he and Mondo just do like some sort of Dragon Ball Z fusion dance and turn into this type of persona or something? What happened to you, Taka? Uh, actually... I told everyone what happened to the day well, before. Then. So, because of what Alter Ego said to him. Um, are, are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh, <laughs> ghost, no, there's no such thing! What are y'all whining about? Come on! God, you're really cheesing me off! Uh, hey, Fumi! Yes? I don't know what you're thinking, but. Bro belongs to me! Huh? Yeah! Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. And I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again, fudge an idiot. I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishima. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, Toby. Okay, Toby, yeah, okay. Bye bye. Don't go, don't go. Toby, don't go. Hey, come on. Anyways, Mr. Ishimaru. Since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. Destiny has bound me and her together in a Gordian knot of true love. Well, me and him have been melded together in the white hot heat of friendship. Hey guys, come on. Moron, talk down to me and I'll ram my fist into your all your four of your vital points. When I punch you at the speed of sound, and I don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag. Knock it off, both of you. <laughs> this doesn't belong to any one of us. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital mm. clues. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace in any further, they'll have to deal with me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, okay, so it seems like Mondo's personality is also afraid of Sakura anyway. herself, at least. Until Alter Ego had finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you! <laughs> yes, I fucking love Sakura. She's like the big sister I've always wanted, being very protective and yeah. shit. Sorry to my own actual big sister, but... She she doesn't know Kid Icarus characters from that one video. <laughs> Got it! So then. Okay, then. Let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger hey. too long. Are you sure it's okay to let them off without a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. Use the lock this time. <laughs> After watching Ifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyways, I just have to pull myself together. So, what should I do for the rest of my day? Alright, free time. 
We'll be right back at the next episode of Danganronpa. I'm kind of hungry myself, so I'm going to get a quick slice of pizza before we start continuing recording. So stay tuned to that.